Hello friends, this video on Biomolecules part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Vitamin is derived from this vital plus amine. Vital amine. We'll, we'll tell you why this is named as vitamin. See, vitamins are organic compounds. They require in small amount. Required in small amount. and to perform specific biological function and also for normal maintenance optimum growth they are required their deficiency will cause disease for example if you don't have vitamin c a proper in body will get scurvy vitamin a you'll get night blindness there are so many things which you have must have studied in the past classes also so vitamins are organic compounds required in small amount to perform specific actions in the body but their deficiency can cause disease most of the vitamins cannot be synthesized in the body so you have to take it in the food and plants synthesize almost all vitamins right and these vitamins are essential food factor essential food factor why because if you don't take it properly you'll get disease that's why this vital word is there and there are 13 vitamins that are recognized globally, right? So, vitamins are classified by their biological and chemical activity, not by their structure. So, vitamins are generally classified based on activity. Why? See, if you see vitamin A, vitamin, not on their uh, structure, because if you see vitamin A, there are so many uh, chemical compounds that is vitamin A. One is retinol, then we have retinol, then you have catenoids. There are so many compounds which are vitamin A. So they are not classified based on their structure, but they are classified based on their activity. As I told, the name is gone from vital plus amine because the earlier identified compounds which were vitamins they had amino groups so it was considered that all the vitamins will have amino group but that is not true later they found some vitamins which doesn't have amino group but still the name continued there because they were essential so the vital word came and the earlier ones had amino acid though chemists thought all of them has amino acids so they use this word amine so this becomes vital amine that is vitamin and later this uh, word E is removed and this is vitamin only, right? So excess vitamin is also harmful. So you should not take vitamin pills on your own. You should uh, take doctor advice and this is what? This is vitamin D. So if you see vitamins are also my hydrocarbons, the biomolecules, correct? The next is based on the solubility we classify vitamins. So we have fat soluble and water soluble. So the vitamins which are soluble in fat that is vitamin A, D, E, K and they are stored in liver and adipose tissues. And then we have a water soluble vitamins that is B and C. Right? And most of these uh, vitamins water soluble has to be supplied in the diet. Why? Because they are regularly excreted in urine. You drink water, you urinate this. And since it is water soluble, it goes off. And please note, only vitamin B12 is stored in the body. Others are not stored in the body. They pass on easily from the urine. So if you see the uh, vitamins, I have a table for this. This is vitamin A. This is found in fish liver oil, carrots, buttermilk and if you don't take this properly you will get this xerophthalmia that is hardening of cornea of eyes, you will get night blindness, vitamin B1 found in the yeast, milk, green vegetables, cereals, if you don't take it properly you will get beriberi that is loss of appetite and retarded growth, vitamin B2 it's found in milk, egg white, liver and kidney, if you don't get, take this you get chelosis that is uh, flustering of the corner of mouth and digestive disorders. B6 on an yeast, milk, egg, yolk, cereals, and rams. If you don't take this, you get convolutions. I mean, B12 
fish meat egg and fish occurred you get this if you don't take this you get this uh, pernicious anemia similarly vitamin c also called as carbic acid found in citrus fruits amla and green leafy vegetables if you don't take this you get scurvy it's a bleeding gums disease vitamin d you get from exposure of sunlight or you can get from egg yolk or fish if you don't take this you get prickets it's bone deformities and oyster malachias bone softness same thing vitamin e on vegetables oils wheat oil sunflower oil and if you don't take this then your uh, it increases the fragility of rbc and muscular weakness and vitamin k again found in green leafy vegetables if you uh, this helps in increase uh, blood clotting if you don't take this properly it will take more time to clot the blood so even if a small amount of uh, injury may cause a big damage to you thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again